morning. Welcome to the Casco Fish Hatchery. I'm John Dume, the assistant manager here. At Casco we have rainbows, brook trout, brown trout, and salmon. And we carry mostly salmon eggs and brook trout eggs. We have at any one time usually over 100,000 fish and we stock out about around 60,000 pounds each year. So we take our eggs at uh, Panther Run in Raymond, Maine where the salmon swim up the Jordan River and into our fish trap. And from there we'll strip out all the females and take milk from those fish and then release them back into the Jordan River so they can spend their life back in Sebago Lake for the next year and then they'll do the same thing the following year. We have our rainbow brood on site also. Uh, we take anywhere, as many eggs as we can, usually over 100,000 to 200,000 eggs. Um, and then we'll, we'll transfer those to the New Gloucester Hatchery where they'll raise them out and then transfer them back here as fry where we'll grow them to stocking size which is two fish per pound in the fall, in the spring and then one fish per pound in the fall. The hatchery is important just to offset the fishing pressure that anglers make and to put, to manage help the biologists manage waters better as far as putting species in certain waters that do better compared to in the wild where they might not have, you know, they might not last as long. And also to put out uh, catchable fish that are big enough so they don't get eaten by predators and other things. <laughs> well, we keep the water temperature where they like it this is the biggest thing. We have flowing water all through our raceways and certain hatcheries also have dirt raceways so keep it a natural environment. Um, other than that it's kind of not like their normal environment, <laughs> you know. Our hatcheries, our raceways all have dissolved oxygen pumped in during the summer months when our water gets warm. So it allows us to hold more fish and have the fish be more comfortable. Um, we monitor our pH not so often just because it doesn't change so much coming in from our lake. And so, yeah, as far as just the facilities, these facilities are set up so good that um, we don't really have to do too much water, water treatment or monitoring. Or uh, it's just mostly for phosphorus, so I just charge for DEP. Um, but otherwise, our lakes and our Springs are very good water quality. That's why we're here. I went to college for aquaculture and biology, but a bio fishery biology would be uh, the most ideal. So we uh, just volunteer would help too. Yeah, so I guess we'll get to the eggs here. So you can come look over here. These are the brook trout eggs we received from Dry Mills Fish Hatchery. And these are about two and a half months old. And Casco's lake fed water, so it's a lot colder than spring fed hatcheries, which is around 10 degrees Celsius. We're at like three. So if you look at these, if you look really closely, but you can see the eyes inside those. See the little eyes? And that lets us know that we can handle these things. We can handle them once we take the eggs, and then we have to wait until we see these eyes to handle them again. So kind of a long process of not handling them. So what you see in here is a, this is called a little pig trough, and we count, we'll lay all the eggs flat on the bottom and get them all even, and then we'll count how many eggs are in that trough. From there we can go to our chart, a Von Bayer chart, and then see how many eggs per ounce there is, and that's how we count these. So, and if you look in there, you can see a white one, that means that that's dead, a lot of times they just weren't fertilized from the start. Because um, once they reach this stage, it's hard to, hard to kill them, really, unless there's water issues. So this, I already did it counted, so there's 351 eggs per ounce. So now all I have to do is come over here and weigh out one ounce. You might be able to see the eyes a little better inside this thing. You see all those little eyes winking at you? 
You can see him turn around inside the egg and stuff like that. The colder the water, the longer they last, it holds more oxygen. The warmer the water, will last long. So they'll last a long time in these bottles. It's three degrees Celsius. So it's pretty cold. It comes right from Pleasant Lake, so this time of year, it's really cold. Um, you guys can come down here, as you guys can see our salmon. Yeah. So this, these are our salmon eggs, and they're a little farther, farther along, as you can see. And this is what will happen. They hatch out, you can see some are hatched out right here, and they'll just fall through this screen and down onto the bottom and sometimes they'll they can't get out of the egg and they don't do so well but um, these are called sack fry you can see they have that little egg yolk attached to them like you see them swimming down there and they'll stay like this for oh, a month and a half and then they'll use up all their yolk sac so we don't have to feed them at all and once that yolk sac absorb they'll start swimming up and looking for feed and they almost like swim like horizontally to try to like they look like little seahorses almost when they're looking for feed so and then from there we'll start feeding them and they'll get bigger and bigger so we actually kind of pile up these eggs like this just because once they start hatching out the other ones will wiggle and seem to get the ones inside of the egg hatch out quicker uh, for whatever reason they just feel they're so these are about, we took these eggs in November and they're just now hatching. If we we're at Dry Mills Hatchery in Gray, where it's spring water, they hatch out within a month. So it's a lot quicker because it's just warmer water. So that's a salmon egg and that's brook trout eggs, a smaller thing. So here at Casco Fish Hatchery, we are fed by Pleasant Lake, and we have two intake lines. One's a deep line, which is right here, it comes from 56 feet out in the middle of the lake, and the other one's a shallow line that comes from 18 feet out uh, in the lake. That's over here. So right now we're drawing around 1,400 gallons a minute from the deep line and around 700 gallons a minute from the shallow line. This, that's where the better temperature is warmer down there than the top of the water. And we'll switch that out as the water warms out and take more from the shallow line in the spring and in the fall. Um, so initially when we the engineers did auction levels in the lake, there was actually not much oxygen at all deep in the lake. So they developed this system where this comes in, comes up to the lake level and then flows down and drops 12 feet down in here and then goes into our UV building. This, just that, gives us a lot more oxygen just being bubbled out in, over these streams. So we're able to get the colder water and not have the oxygen issues uh, that we have to deal with.
So at Casco we have 32 raceways. It's all gravity fed down through. So each set of ball creates more oxygen um, to flow through the system. And like I said before, we usually have around 100,000 fish in here at all times. In here we have brook trout, brown trout, rainbow trout, and salmon. They're all kind of just mixed in. This is just a show pool. The brook trout have the white leading edges on their pectoral fins. Um, the rainbows, you can kind of see that, that pink lateral line. Um, and the browns are kind of hard to tell from up here. So. Same with the salmon. We stock mostly in the spring and in the fall, and we do it mostly by truck. Either this is one of our one tons or our bigger truck. We also backpack, we also fly stock, which we put in planes and they'll drop them onto ponds that we can't, can't get to with vehicles. And we also stock by ATV, so we are able to get to every pond that we need to in one of those methods.